The holy month of Ramadan is observed by Muslims worldwide. It represents a time of reflection, prayer, introspection, spiritual improvement, and self-discipline. During the month of Ramadan, Muslims and Palestinians have experienced times of perseverance, triumph, and sacrifice. Some notable examples in Palestine's Islamic history include the second caliph, Omar ibn al-Khattab, arrived in Jerusalem in Ramadan in 638 AD and was offered the keys to Jerusalem by the Byzantine Patriarch. In 1260, Muslims delivered the Mongol Empire its first defeat in the Battle of Ain Jalut in southeastern Galilee. But as the month of Ramadan is a month of triumph, it is a month of sacrifice as well. The advent of Zionism changed the course of Muslim and Palestinian life in Palestine. Throughout Israel's existence, some of the most brutal massacres occurred during Ramadan, such as the massacre in Lid and Ramla from July 11th through 14th, 1948, which accounted for approximately 10% of the entire Palestinian exodus from 1947 to 1949. On February 25th, 1994, a Jewish settler, Baruch Goldstein, massacred 29 Palestinian Muslim worshippers at al Ibrahimi Mosque in al Hanin. Israel launched Operation Protective Edge against the densely populated Gaza Strip in July 2014, where 2,131 Palestinians were killed, 11,100 were wounded, 18,000 housing units were totally destroyed or severely damaged, and 108,000 Palestinians were made homeless. In May 2021, Israel increased surveillance and prevented Palestinians from entering Masjid al-Aqsa, Islam's third holiest site, and continued its ethnic cleansing policies in strategic areas in East Jerusalem, such as Sheikh Jarrah and Silwan. Israel subsequently assaulted once again the besieged Gaza Strip, killing 260 Palestinians, including 129 civilians, 66 of whom were children. In both assaults on Gaza and East Jerusalem in 2014 and 2021, the Palestinian people manifested resilience and perseverance, both of which represent the true essence of Ramadan. This Ramadan, Israel's occupation forces are once again terrorizing Palestinian worshippers at Masjid al-Aqsa, indiscriminately firing tear gas, stun grenades, and rubber bullets. In other parts of the occupied West Bank, the IOF has murdered 19 Palestinians, including children. And once again, the besieged Gaza Strip is under intense Israeli bombardment. As the assaults on Gaza and East Jerusalem continue, it is evident that the strength of the Muslim Ummah will never cease, and in Ramadan, it only grows.